Hey, Hustlers, how y'all doing today? Y'all, I haven't did no videos this week because, you know, coming off my long um, vacation, my four days I had off. And y'all, you know, we've been training for the background stuff that, you know, with the new position. I got to tell y'all what happened. <laughs> oh. And I'm just sitting and chatting with y'all. You know, this was not scheduled today. <sighs> Let me see. This is Thursday. This is my first drink this week. And I said, you know, what the hell? I'm just going to do it. Cheers. How y'all doing? How's y'all week going? Well, honey, we are... And I'm just eating some of this stuff right here, y'all. Um... Well, some steak and chicken. Y'all want to see? And I got a whole lot of ketchup on my potatoes, y'all. There it is. Nothing spectacular. Um, so, for the last two weeks, y'all, we have been really self-learning or self-teaching uh, the stuff we needed for the position uh, that we thought we was going to be doing. <laughs> So today, we got an email that says we're going to be doing something different. Time wasted. But what they, what he told me, or us today, it's something I love, y'all. Extending offers. That's that's my passion. You know, when you call somebody to extend an offer, the joy, especially today, for those who have lost jobs and getting jobs, yeah, I'm ready to do that. So, I ain't complaining. Because I still have a job. So, of course, I had to shut my mind off what I was learning, regroup, and start to learn what their processes are. Because the other uh, uh, unit that I was working for, everybody has different processes. And so when I, it's still some self-learning, y'all. I have to do the videos. I'm thinking like, oh, okay, it's similar, but it's a lot of difference. I ain't lying. It's a lot of steps to this. I'm thinking like, How hard is it? But of course, I realize that they're new to uh, IBM, and you know, a lot of people who get the third party, they still try to hold on to a lot of stuff. So, y'all, that's my position right now. So, so many companies send um their work across the sea to the Philippines, Manila, Costa Rica. And they swamp them with all that work. I think that's wrong, number one. Number one is wrong. Because, you know, those countries, third world countries, you know, they have low pay. You know, but they, but their, but their lifestyle is not like ours either. We lavish and they're not, if I can say that, you know. But they pile up all of on that work, and they can't handle the 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 work. So you know, huh. one of my coworkers told me she said today she said, you know, we the cleanup crew. Huh. They putting us all everywhere to help them clean up because every one of them, if I can say this, y'all, they are backlog. Mm -hmm. Backlog. So y'all know that song say, better everybody say, the clean up woman is a woman who steals all the love you leave behind. 
So I, I made my song, my own song up when she said that I say, well, the clean up woman is a woman who do a good damn job <laughs> for these people. Um, but we were told, and I was told personally, that when they're transitioning, they keep the best of the people. So, you know. I thank God. <laughs> yeah. But it's just amazing that when you are kind of like a floater, they can put you anywhere. And you every time you turn around, you have to learn other systems. And I'm thinking like, wow. I'm getting a little old. I want a little something simpler. So, we got that email. I was happy about it. <laughs> um, the offer process is much easier than the background process. So I was like, "Well, thank you, Lord," because because you know I talk to God every day. I talk to God like I talk to y'all every day. I talk to him more than I do y'all because I talk to him all day, all day. So I had to thank him. Really. I had to say thank you. Because you know, a mind, you can't waste. But they was giving me, they, and I told my coworker, I say, in the last 12 months, well, it's 11 months. It's 10 or 11 months. I've been on three different accounts. And I had to learn all their processes. Then I get back to another one. Then I, they put me on another one. And then I go back to the other one. It's like, y'all, y'all got to understand that my mind is 58 years old almost. And y'all got to have my, say, oh, goodness. No, I'm not 27 no more. I'm 33 when your mind is alert. You know, when you get older, you change. Mm-hmm. Everything starts to change your mindset. The capability of learning and remembering gravity takes place. Everything when you get older. So, but what can we do? We all need our jobs. I know I do. But y'all, I stumbled on something today. You know, simple meals are just delicious, y'all. This is the last chicken and potatoes I had. But these potatoes are good. And I had to write it down. And we're going to talk about a couple of them. Well, dang. I didn't set the timer, y'all. We're going to talk about one. Because when I just sit and chat with y'all, I don't want it to be long. Because we're going to do a, a, a seafood uh, tomorrow. A very small one. It'll be my first time doing it real small. So, y'all. Let's talk about why a relationship fails. I think today the number one reason is finances. Yeah. Especially with new with new uh, relationships and marriages. So what I say about that is you're going to have somebody that's a saver and a spender. If you have two people saving, these are just my thoughts, y'all, just mine. If you have two people saving, one may be a little stingy than the other, you know. When you have a spender and a saver, I think the balance can be really good. But I say this, before you get into a relationship... 
that's one thing that should be on top of your list that you talk about. Y'all heard me say before, I have a list of questions. And every time we go on a date, you get two at a time because, you know, you can't give a man a thousand things at a time. Now, we, you know, we are multitask women. We, we can multitask all day, every day, you know, and then do the great love thing at night. If you give a man more than two things, you know how a dog is playing and he try to catch his tail? That's what that man does. So the process of a man that I learned in my years is that give him something, no more than two things, allow him to process it. And once he process it, he, he gonna think it through. Then after that, he gonna answer you. No, neither one of them have a time frame to do it. It's just got to wait. <laughs> Some questions are meant to, you know, answer right now. But sometimes, Men have to process before they speak. So that's something to remember, y'all young women. Y'all don't know. Why right? y'all man ain't talking with y'all. I'm talking back to y'all. Y'all giving him too much to process. At one time he confuses. He's, he's confused. Mm -hmm. So, money is really a killer. For a relationship. What do y'all think? Comment below. About money. In the relationship. It can be testy. That's for sure. I Me. Mean, when my last love. He was a spender. Woo! A free spender at that. Woo! I mean, he said he buy it. I was like, uh uh, that can't happen because we live together. So we wrote all the bills out. And because we put our money together. So what we came up with, he said, since you pay the bills every first of the month, you do this and this, I'm going to give my whole check to you. And then you can give me. Uh, spending money that worked uh, y'all for three years mm -hmm. it really did work because then he left me after that mm -hmm. it broke my heart <laughs> but it worked for us you know and when we did that or when I did that and both of our savings account was beautiful beautiful and he had to say it himself, this is the first time I ever saved this much money in all my life. Mm hmm You know what triggered me? Naya. If y'all looked at, um, Looking for Love, Naya, with, uh, DJ Smooth. And her friend said, How do y'all gonna pay the bills? And he said, we can do 50-50 or well she can't pay I'll come to the back and pay it first of all I will not discuss my financial business with my friend not even my two best friends in, in front of my man that's a no-no your friends don't need to be in, in, in your mess that's why relationships a, a, a fail again because you got too many people in, in the midst of your circle trying to tell you what to do. So you got to make sure they perfect in their relationship for you take their damn advice. I've been like that all my life. My friends will tell you that as well. Tell me what to do. Let me look, at, let me look where, where you at. Let me look what you're doing. If it's picture perfect, then I'll follow your ass. But if it's not, don't tell me what to do. You can suggest all day. But don't tell me what to do. So Naya cut it off like a hot potato. She won't have anything to do with DJ Smooth. You know, he's a DJ out here on Magic 102, yeah, if y'all didn't know. 
I thought that that was awful. Because especially today, in what we're living through, sometimes you need, especially when you have children, you need two incomes to survive. Now, again, it it, it don't even have to be 50-50. If it, you, whoever makes the most money, put it on the paper. Figure it out. You know, position your bills out. Okay, well, look, I'll pay, I'll pay um the mortgage, but you pay the two car notes, the insurance, the light bill, the water bill, the gas bill, whatever the hell else bill we have. Okay. It's easy. People that still want to do it. Some people right now, and I understand because, you know, we hungry for money. I always have been, but boy, today than ever. I don't want a man to pay all my bills, but I'm not. If you're my husband and you choose to pay it, that's one thing. But I think together, we can do it better. Mm-hmm. And, you know, right, wrong, we're indifferent. I believe a woman who demands a man to pay all the bills, that's selfish. So this will be my question. If you're paying all the bills, do you transfer some of your money in his bank account to say thank you? Do men even pay the bills today? I don't even know if they pay all the bills anymore. Well, everybody, well, I don't know. These new generations, I don't know what the hell they do. But my generation, they used to do it. But things have changed and they dated them young girls and got hurt and played. So I don't even think the old dudes do it no more either. <laughs> I, just, I really don't. I think they learn how to keep that uh, back pocket on their jeans and not trying to tear it off because that young girl came and said, Baby, can you give me some money so I can do my nails and my hair? You know, I'll give you some of these good goods when I get home. Them young men, mm-hmm. I mean, them old dudes with them young girls. Mm-hmm. But after everything is gone and he get a little old and his tatterwhacker don't rise like it used to, they gone. And then the, the older man is hurt as hell. And now all his money gone on her nails and in her hair and in her, her car tank or a brand new car, a house, or apartment or something. So I don't think even our generation of men uh, pay all the bills anymore. But I would never look upon a man to pay all my bills. Because, you know, I have a good life on my own. I live in beautiful places. I have gorgeous furniture. God died. So I don't need him. I don't need a man to come do it. Because the first time I give every man out of control, he gonna be he gonna do like I'm controlling you. You know, sometimes control they think they can uh, tell you what the hell to do. Mm. Well, <laughs> mm -mm, that ain't gonna happen. So look, y'all. I think we're done. I think we've been on here for like 20 minutes, maybe. I don't know. Okay, but look here, y'all. Comment below uh, and tell me how you feel about finance and relationships. I love y'all. Thank y'all for sticking and staying with this hood girl. It's time to say goodbye for now. We have another chance around on the other side. So whatever y'all do for the end of this Thursday night, do it good. Do it with purpose and genuine love. Cheers.